Hi, Mr. Himanshu. Hello, sir. Congratulations on securing All India Rank 1 with Electronics and Telecommunication with the ESC 2024. Thank so, you so much. We are also happy to know that you are a student of ACE Online or Deep Line Recorded course. Anyway, yes, sir. Uh, to begin with, uh, please uh, about yourself briefly. So, sir, my name is Himanshu Thaplial. And I belong to uh, Kalun village uh, located in Pauri Gadbal, Uttarakhand. And uh, I have done my B.Tech in electronics and communication from Simant Institute of Technology, which is also located in Uttarakhand. Dev Bhumi. Dev Bhumi. Yes. Uttarakhand. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. And uh, so, sir, basically, in that time, I was really determined to like uh, get best opportunity what I can get. So I just thought of doing M-Tech. So I have done M-Tech from NIT Karnataka after that in nanotechnology. Nanotech. And during, yes, sir. And during my uh, course in second year, I thought, I think engineering services is something which I should focus on. So then I started preparing for it. So what uh, motivated you to write engineering services? Because M-Tech, uh, nanotechnology, Actually, the future game changer for uh, electrons and telecommunication students. What motivated you to choose engineering services, sir? Sir, actually, throughout my journey, I always uh, focused on what best opportunity I can get. Okay. And for any student, engineering student in India, if uh, they can see in government field, engineering services is the top. So I have the age, I just thought if I put a little bit, I mean, not little bit, but if I give it a lot of time, uh, I can do it. So I just, that, that was the reason I just started preparing for it. Okay, Mr. Himanshu, have you started for preparing for this engineering service exam after completion of your B.Tech or during your B.Tech? Actually, in fourth year of my B.Tech, I just thought that uh, I should attempt uh, engineering services. But uh, that time, I was not that much serious. So I focused on GATE. Oh. And uh, once I secured a good uh, uh, rank, then I uh, got into uh, basically M.Tech. Then slowly, slowly, I started uh, uh, reading uh, uh, chapters and subjects one after one. So you don't mind, what was your GATE rank at that time? At that time, it was uh, around 3,500. Okay, good. So, you have joined your M.Tech, NIT, Karnataka, but the Surat Kala, right? Yes, sir. NIT, Surat Kala. So, how you could manage the classes of uh, M.Tech and preparing for engineering service exam? Sir, actually, I used to wake up uh, very early in the morning. Uh, it was not also morning, around uh, uh, 2 o'clock, I used to wake up. My and God. around uh, 9 or 10, I used to sleep just uh, 5, 6, hour, 5 hours or 4 hours also sometimes. Uh -huh. So morning time, I will watch the lectures as much as possible. And then I will go to college and attend the classes and do the college work. So and I divided my time. Take care of your health. Take care of your health. Because, <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, now. <laughs> for youngsters also, 6 to 8 hours sleep is required. Anyway, campaign yes, right now. Because now you are faster. <laughs> campaign yes, have sir. enough sleep. Okay, yes, sir. So, how you have prepared for your prelims exam? Sir, for yes. prelims, uh, basically the common subject in GATE. Yes. So, that I was prepared with. And uh, the extra subjects were there. So, I just uh, uh, searched about the books. And I started studying those subjects and topics. And mainly, I focused on the previous year paper. Because previous that was my base. That was base for me. Uh, mm -hmm. I used to give paper, like I never gave subject wise previous year. Uh -huh. I used to sit for the complete paper, like three oh, hour okay. paper. I will, yes. And then I will analyze the paper and uh, with their marks, I can evaluate myself also. Like this time I gave, let us say 2023 and I am getting 100 marks. So mm -hmm. next time I will give 200, 2021 paper. Okay. So if I am getting 150 or 160, so I know, okay, I, there is a progress and I am going on a right path. So that's how I started preparing and one after one, I started completing subject. So Himanshu, to attempt a full paper, 
you should have the knowledge of all the subjects you know you might have sufficient uh, practice on all the subjects of that particular paper na no? yes sir but uh, like first time i am attempting how much ever subject i know i will focus on those subjects yeah only. yeah got it got it see whether you are able to answer or not you are attempting yes. that paper okay yes That's one of the good strategy okay yes. so how many marks uh, uh, you expected in general studies and engineering aptitude how uh, i uh, this time i think uh, uh, around 75 or 80 marks in uh, yeah in general and uh, in technique i uh, i think around 120 130 marks i think so total 210 marks okay so of the 100 objectives in general studies uh, suppose maths and aptitude you might have focused apart from yes. maths and aptitude what are the subjects being an electronics and telecommunication student what subjects you have attempted material science i have attempted and second thing uh, information uh, communication okay. that subject was there ict mm -hmm. so these two i have prepared and environmental science also because some static part is there and current, current affairs. affairs current affairs i daily actually used to read paper, paper. so i never bothered about it uh, just uh, normally i used to read mm -hmm. but uh, oh. so you focused only for 130 marks out of 200 <laughs> yes okay. yes okay. complete so paper i did not coming to the technical 150 objectives 300 marks so many subjects are there yes so calculate is yes. not allowed what was your uh, strategy mm -hmm. of attempting the technical objective questions actually uh, regarding calculator from starting when i was preparing for gate okay. i uh, did not uh, used a calculator for gate also because oh. i wanted to practice so mm. from that time i thought ki i should practice in this way only mm. and uh, second thing uh, like uh, i, I uh, this in this attempt i covered all the subjects uh -huh. okay. so i prepared all subjects i did not leave anything in technical part mm. so in general I, studies you are selective yes yes so in technical you have taken every subject seriously yes every subject i have taken very good yes. so uh, did you get marks still today in whether no, is announced the marks still today no 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 i, I have not seen yet okay. ah, anyway yeah. so prelims you cleared so between yes. the prelims and mains within that time available how you have prepared for the mains because two papers each paper 300 marks all together 600 marks paper 1 uh, how many marks you you are expecting paper 1 uh actually i i don't remember now but in total paper 1 and paper 2 i thought exact marks around 250 or 260 total out oh, of 600. 500 yeah out of 600 yeah. and at most i thought 290 maybe but uh, fro okay. yeah but from my result i don't think uh, i think i might be getting more it so, means uh, mains plus prelims out of 1100 you are expecting around 600 plus or minus that's all yeah yes that's all okay. yes that's all this paper was a little tough this year yes paper 1 actually was tough was. because uh, for preparing preparing for mains i only focused on previous year like i was solving the paper for prelim i sat for mains also like i will sit for 2023 i will solve the complete paper first mm. so in that paper one pattern was repetitive but okay. in 2024 this year uh, the pattern was not matching uh, that is what i found i found it to be a little bit difficult in paper one but uh, what i i have done is uh, i have prepared paper two also very strongly so it was kind of a balance when i gave the paper so i was not sad because paper two went good see by assuming your performance in uh, prelims and mains i think you might have performed interview personality test extremely well because you got all the first rank means your interview marks may be the highest yes so anyway yes. what was your uh, strategy for preparing for interview 
इंटरव्यू एक्चुअली इन नवंबर फ्रॉम नवंबर इटसेल्फ आई हैव स्टार्टेड प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर इंटरव्यू सो व्हेन एवर आई यूज्ड टू रीड अ टॉपिक आई ऑलवेज यूज्ड टू आस्क माय सेल्फ क्वेश्चन लाइक व्हाट क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्क्ड फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर और दिस सब्जेक्ट सो फ्रॉम दैट टाइम आई वाज ट्रेनिंग माय सेल्फ एंड इन बीटेक एक्चुअली वन ऑफ माय फैकल्टी वाज देयर टू ऑफ द फैकल्टीज वर देयर सो दे आई यूज्ड टू आस्क देम दैट जस्ट आस्क मी सम क्वेश्चंस एंड आई विल आंसर so daily we used to have this session from november it started so like from very long because i was very weak in speaking so but i thought this is the only chance i don't want to again attempt the paper so from daily we started having these sessions and daily we practiced so how i think time, maybe uh, your interview continued how much time 30 minutes i think it was around 30 or 35 minutes any but, questions uh, on any studies Uh, what uh, no 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 current affairs like what? nothing no nothing from current affairs uh, one question was there uh, like uh, after coming ai which stock uh, price has raised a lot that was the only question which i feel is uh, a little bit different but otherwise it was completely technical but a lot of question they have asked around uh, more than 50 questions in total so, so how one after one have, how many you might have answered well of the 50 i i think out of 50 uh, around four, uh, more than around 45 we can say five questions were there very tricky which i was unable to then what was your response in those five questions what uh, how you have answered in some of them i directly said that i don't have any idea about it and other i said that can i take a guess and then i try to give them answer so if they found it interesting they they asked more question otherwise जनरल but actually yes. not required even from my yes. experience okay okay only to some extent not pure yes, every second spending on uh, general studies and current affairs for interpretation i think uh, it is meaningless okay. yes sir correct Maybe sir some yes. relevant questions related to your branch of engineering so yes. on the whole see 500 prelims 600 mains 200 personal into 1300 how many marks you are expecting i am like what i have calculated i thought maybe around 590 or 80 like that i was expecting but now i cannot say like i don't okay. have any idea i got around uh, 550 around uh, sorry sorry 700 plus or minus definitely yes yes very good very good so uh, how you have used the test series of is engineering academy and yes on that i just test series uh, i used to give them and uh, like sometimes i i did not used to get marks also but uh, what i did is i always uh, take it as a challenge and mm. i used to feel happy if i am getting less marks because yes. i have more to learn yeah, more if to. i am getting high marks that means i don't have anything to learn now so i always used to think in this way that okay mm. i have to uh, i can learn more things that means and then i used to just go through all those questions and i actually enjoyed in that way <laughs> when i follow have you prepared any short notes or mistake notes like that yes uh, short notes were there and also mistake notes separately all mistakes i used to write and i used to revise them also okay so you have taken our pre recorded sessions and uh, live sessions also how the, our is online or deep learn pre recorded courses help you uh i would say specifically i i like to mention the non technical part uh, i have watched those lectures and uh, initially like that kind of interest was not there in me in non technical part mm. but once i started watching the video i really found the non technical part to be very interesting mm. so that interest uh, uh, it really created that interest in me that is what i would like to say very good so any suggestion to 
the future aspirants are juniors i would say just uh, don't uh, feel that uh, uh, next time you will do uh, i think this this is the only time give your 100% and never do that mistake ki it is okay this time i will do that because this time when i have attempted this paper i really gave my 100% uh, I, i would like to mention that uh, uh, one movie was there 12th sale uh, when i came after watching that movie so in that movie the main character actually he will uh, sleep for 3 or 4 hours so i after looking at him i thought that oh i am not doing sufficient so i started sleeping very less from that onwards so it motivated me so i think that is what pushed my rank i think that is the uh, secret behind that that 100% you have to give uh, in your opinion what is the right time for starting the preparation of either gate or engineering service exam is it during btech if during btech second year or third year or first year what is your suggestion i would say third year of btech is good because uh, now we can give gate also in third year so it's a good opportunity from there onwards see you have done your uh, graduation and post graduation from very good colleges see you might have been uh, offered so many campus placements also during btech have you focused on campus placements or focus only on gate exam actually my uh, btech college uh, was uh, from very backward actually zero uh, percent placement was there uh, that BTEC. was yes during btech okay. and that was the reason i wanted to go into a better college so, so blessing, in blessing in disguise blessing in disguise agar kuch placement lage to sab 3 lakh 4 lakh had you cracked some 3 lakh 4 lakh package you might not have thought of this uh, yes so, <laughs> yes because you having 0% <laughs> okay but in the nid surat kal definitely you might have be having placements na sir actually my mind was very clear in second year yes. uh, for one month i have prepared for programming and i just thought what i am doing so uh-huh. that moment i decided ki i want to prepare for engineering services now i told my placement coordinator that i want to opt out from placement oh. so i did not sat for any placement i uh, from that time onwards i started preparing for engineering service so Only. single point agenda government job engineering service <laughs> so no yes, yes. See, yes i appreciate exactly. you told your placement coordinator i am not interested please <laughs> yes see, every college will work out the percentage of placements see you have opted means your number will not be counted for the registered yes place. it's a help yes that are yes with i really appreciate you were uh, focusing towards government or <laughs> huh? yes. so anyway uh, if you don't mind what is your family background briefly what is your father uh, sir my father is a, a pandit he will do rituals like ceremony uh, ceremony Mahi. marriages uh-huh. yes sir and my mother is a tailor okay okay so anyway my pranams to your parents huh? sincerely yes. because uh, definitely without their support uh, you might not come to this stage their support yes, sir. of course you are definitely and uh, the team of is engineering academy is online also okay yes. so himanshu ji god bless you uh, for better future uh, thank you thank you so much sir god bless you once again my best wishes and namaskaram to your parents okay thank you so thank much you. thank you thank you so much